Hello Sagittarius, this is Sarah Perry and this is your June 2022 Psychic Insight and Guidance. Thank you for tuning in today. Hello anyone new out there and welcome to uh, my regulars. It's really great to have you on board as usual. Now anyone new out there, if you would like to like, subscribe and share, I'd be eternally grateful as this really helps me to expand my channel. And if you would like a private consultation with me, then just go on down to the website and check out what is on offer so wow this is about getting in balance this month it's about bringing two sides of the coin together to make one um, seeing the darkness seeing the light seeing both sides of things readjusting your perspective um, and in some cases your intentions um, are going to change by the end of the month you may feel that you'd made a strong decision during may and that by, I'd say, 17th of June, things just completely change all over again. Um, the most important thing right now to deal with this kind of energy around you is to keep flexible and adaptable. Be open. Just be open to possibilities. This is what the new moon is all about. Be open to conversation, communication. Take notes, do your research, do your marketing. Um, by the end of June, I feel you're going to have it in the bag. There's definitely one major decision to make. Um, and I feel this is kind of early on. Um, and again, it's going to feel, it will be fixed, you know, it's going to mean making, keeping some kind of structure, um, sticking to your boundaries kind of thing. However, again, still remain negotiable. Um, and I don't mean be influenced by anybody else or allow other people to talk you down. Just consider easier ways sometimes things can be simpler you know we can be really creative people have all these things going on um and forget that you know it doesn't have to be a struggle you know and that actually it's best to focus on one thing at a time that's kind of an important message for someone out there to prioritize um, listen to your gut feeling your instincts will lead you the whole time and even if it doesn't make any sense to anyone else that doesn't matter it's about making sense to you and if something feels right it just sits right yeah i mean it's the same with relationships if everything is in balance there isn't a question you know there shouldn't be any doubt now Focus on your skills, your natural ability of creative speech, um, creative activity, creative inspiration. Uh, work on re-energizing your solar plexus and your sacral chakra. Your solar plexus will give you the motivation. It will strengthen your instincts even more. Um, it will strengthen your willpower and it will help you re-energize. I'm seeing some really long days ahead. If you are working for yourself, you could be working into the early hours or, you know, finding that time has just gone away with you. So make sure you drink lots of water and if you can, wear some yellow gemstones. Um, for some reason, I'm getting calcite is important. Um, this isn't something that I would consider, first of all, for the solar plexus straight away because um, it's actually what I, is very good for fear. However, fear does creep in when we're out of balance. So it could be good to, to bring back that, you know, that rebalancing when you need it or grounding. Um, citrine is always great for bringing confidence if you're losing <laughs> you're feeling you're out of your depths or you are overtired. I'm just seeing people rubbing their eyes because of these late nights. If you can, have a power nap in the afternoon. That's always good. And um, if you tell your unconscious before you go to sleep, that's what you're going to do. You generally just wake up at the time you need to, okay? So before you lay down, just say, I want to wake up at, in an hour. Um, and just let yourself go. Maybe put some meditation music on. Even just shutting your eyes for a while will help, especially if you're working with computer screens. Now, it's important to rise above a lot of the nitty gritty this month because I feel like some people are still going to be around trying to sabotage things, poke you in the back or try and pull you backwards, okay? This is always the way. There's a lot of fear at the moment. Um, people are sinking to lower levels as much as people are going to high levels. You know, there's always going to be a yin and a yang. You know, wherever you go, even with success, there's, you know, the, if the higher the success in light, the or the higher, the brighter the light you shine, the, the greater the shadows become um, that kind of are around. But that does keep us in touch with who we are. And 
if anything does come to disturb you or cause you discomfort or anxiety, just see it as a little sign of maybe being aware or a reminder of your value because often we get these little nuisances because we're not putting ourselves or our needs first. If you've got loads of energy and you're really free flowing, you're probably going to end up overdoing it. Um, this is a time to take a chance this month. I feel there could be something that people have been considering. You know, maybe it's a big purchase um, or, you know, or it's upgrading something in the house, particularly I'm getting, or, you know, maybe building an extension or investing in a new car. Um, I don't f see this as a frivolous thing. This isn't like, oh, I just want the latest, you know, game game console or you know i just want a new car because so and so next door's got it it's more like practicalities because i can see that it's something that has been needed it's you know it's a long time coming and there's some there's a little bit extra coming i feel in the bank that will help you do this and i feel if you do your research you'll source a really good deal uh, particularly around cars i'm seeing um, and car maintenance um you know, be open to change garages, be open to look elsewhere if a price isn't what you want. I'm just getting some of you, you're feeling your, in, you know, your instincts are strong and you're picking up that maybe somebody isn't being as honest as they should be. And again, I'm getting this kind of garage situation, you're with, with a mechanic and saying, oh, it's going to cost you all this, you're going to have to get this done, you know, that, that kind of hard sell because they want to bring in the money and they're kind of seeing a quick buck as they can, you know, I'll add on a fiver. Um, if you shop around, you may find somewhere that is less uh, flashy, but is, you know, I, I'm seeing kind of an old, um, a long term business that, you know, has gone through the families, um, you know, and it's kind of simple and it's just a couple of people working and, you know, but it's still very effective because they're using old school techniques, which, you know, which um, are, are good for this situation so do shop around never feel like you've got to stick with something out of loyalty the loyalty comes to you and I've just talked about a garage situation I'm also getting some kind of things like washing machines or fridges as well or something you know or someone thinking right we need a, a dishwasher now again that could sound frivolous however um, if you've got a massive family and you don't have time to wash up it could be you know really good um in time saving so it, whatever is big or anything that you need to do or expand upon it is something you you've you know things have happened which it's kind of necessary it's like upgrading your computer um if you work from home and you know you've got this old um you know de depleted laptop which is doesn't fire up properly and you know is eating away in eating itself away in its own viruses kind of thing um you know if something's necessary it, it is good this i feel this month for you particularly to upgrade just wait till kind of second week um mercury still retrograde till the second of june anyway but you know there is still that kind of sense of be clear about what you want and i think that's what will keep you on your toes and that's why it's good to be flexible and look around um but i do see um you know for somebody out there, it isn't a wasted journey taking an extra day, all right? And whoever you are, you will understand that because it's something to do with signing an agreement or borrowing some money or some, getting some extra financing to top up what you've got. Um, your well-being is really important. So really, you know, whatever you do, whatever you expand upon, think about, is it helping my well-being long term? Is this just a quick fix or is this going to help me? Um, I do see a legal contract sign being signed for somebody. It's something that has been going back and forth, back and forth for a long, long time, maybe a lot of negotiation and this celebration at the end of it. Um, it feels like something is now, you can finally close the door and you can end it. This could be a divorce settlement. Um, it could be, you know, something to do with um, children and custody. It could be a house sale um, or just some kind of legal thing you've been, you know, working towards. And again, that could give you extra funds. Um, or it could just be a work contract. You've been trying to negotiate and negotiate and finally it's happening. There's a breakthrough around the end of the month, which is going to be really positive and it's going to bring a lot of luck. And again, I'm seeing more legal stuff, exciting stuff coming through. Um, but for some reason, you may be feeling a little bit uncomfortable about or a bit concerned about it because it's coming quite quickly. Um, but I feel it's going to be good. Like I say, it's going to bring a lot of luck. Uh, spirit is very much protecting you this month um especially around endings and again a lot a lot of creativity um 
as far as relationships are concerned i'm seeing something speed ahead um, and things coming in really fast so if you're on your own you may find you meet somebody overnight and that's it you move in that kind of thing um, but i do see even the something happening fast like that you know you're falling in love meeting your soul connection um that it's actually got legs you know it's not something that's going to fizzle out it feels really practical as much as it's passionate it's just you kind of work together well as much as you know you play together well um and there's a lot of positivity i feel there's a sense of freedom coming where relationships are concerned maybe there is a sense of people leaving or ending something you can finally again put to bed um spirit will always help you to ask because i do feel it's really it's, it's like there's a lot of channeling happening this month for you you know you really are picking up on ideas from above and anyone that's passed over i feel like they're going to be really close to you especially when you're in a dilemma ask for the help pass it over to the universe ask to be given the answers and i feel it will be given to you within 24 hours okay that's quite specific but i do um there may be a gemini around that's a little bit stressful but this could be to do with the new moon as well maybe just the transition um because the new moon's at the end of mercury retrograde as well so things do up a little bit in confusion just before it it goes direct i'm also seeing a sagittarius influence which may be slightly negative i'm seeing this around younger people younger sagittarians but there is expansion coming from this um just watch a health matter around the 21st um go and check out check it up or check get yourself checked out don't just kind of like brush it under the carpet make time for yourself and you will find you know you'll get you can sort things out i'm not seeing anything really awful so please don't start you know being concerned about it i'm not a doctor but if you are concerned do go and see one um and get something sorted or something in place i just feel like there could be a hormone imbalance or something that you can or maybe it's to do with sleep not getting enough sleep or insomnia and something is actually causing this um there may be a decision to make between two loves this month, but i feel by doing so you're going to find the right ingredients to help you heal completely um believe in your wish some wishes are going to come true especially on the emotional front and there are going to be some new patterns created although it may be a kind of weird transition or you may feel a bit stressful as that happens but i hope you have a wonderful month in june 2022 have a um you know keep in touch sagittarius check out my new videos that are coming up and please if you feel you would love to i'd be so grateful please like share and subscribe and i'll speak to you soon bye for now